Jack Pacific is the newest Master Toy partner for Sonic the Hedgehog, only having a license for over a year as of the recording of this video. A lot of fans were excited to see what Jack Pacific has in store, as some fans were a little disappointed with Tomy's Sonic line, as it was mostly boom merchandise and the figures did not have a lot of articulation compared to Jazzwares. A lot of fans couldn't wait to see what Jack Pacific had in store for their articulated figures and plushes, and well, some fans were a little bit disappointed. Jack Pacific, for their first year, released the first wave of their plush line. Inspired by classic Sonic, we got Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Eggman. A lot of fans really love these plushes, but not really the other things. Jax released these 2 inch sphere with a miniature figure inside of them. There was also a track set that you could buy that came with Sonic. I thought they were interesting, but I didn't get any. The last thing Jax released were bendable figures, oh come on. Yeah, a lot of fans were not happy with this, for fair reason. Since bendable figures use a bendy wire, the wires can easily break and destroy the figure. But surprisingly, these lasted three ways, with the most recent one being a sports-themed wave. Yeah, Jax had a rough start with this line. It was unfortunate that Jack Pacific had a distribution problem, so it was really rare, scratch that, basically impossible to find these guys in your local store. Now yes, their first year was a bit of a rough start with the distribution problems and fans being disappointed with Jax because fans know they can do better than just freaking bendy figures. But fans were excited to see what Jax would do for this year. Of course they released Sonic Movie merchandise, but not a lot. They released this playset, which is alright. Oh my god, surely this was tested. They released a Baby Sonic plush and that looks a bit weird. Yeah, this is clearly based off the old design. And they released this very good looking talking Sonic plush. They also released Wave 2 of their plushes, which has freaking Super Sonic, as well as the first ever Mighty plush. They also re released Tails and Knuckles because of how hard they were to find due to distribution problems, but for some reason they didn't release Eggman. Alright. They also have these Jumbo Sonic and Tails, and these look amazing. But the best part is. They made articulated figures. Fans everywhere screamed in joy. You thought LEGO Mario was the best thing of 2020. No sir, it's these articulated Sonic figures. They have a 2.5 inch wave of Sonic action figures with them being Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, Metal Sonic, and a Chow? That's right, a freaking Chow. As well as this Green Hill Zone playset, which I actually have. They also released 4 inch figures of Tails, Dr. Eggman, Shadow, and Sonic, which is the figure I'm looking at today. So is this figure actually good? Let's find out. So take a look at the packaging. The packaging looks pretty good. On the top left, they have this nice render of Sonic with Ghost, Sega, and Ages 3 and up on the right. The background is a gold ring with it saying articulated in multiple languages. They let you see the figure in full and the accessory it comes with. And the bottom has the Sonic logo and the name of the character. On the back, it shows the articulation of the figure and has this little bio about Sonic, which reads, The world's fastest blue hedgehog. Sonic runs at a top speed and can use his special homing attack ability to save the natural world around him. Ain't that bad, actually. Also shows the other figures in this 4-inch wave. Now let's talk about the figure. The accessory it comes with is a star spring that actually has a really good paint job, and it works like an actual spring. The figure looks really good. The sculpt is fantastic, though there are some problems with the mold, which look a bit weird, like the top of his head and the gloves, but those are just probably exclusive to my figure. One of his hands is a fist, while the other one is a gravy hand made out of a rubbery material. I don't know why they added that, since it doesn't come with anything to hold, but other than that, it's a fantastic sculpt. The paint job is pretty good. The eyes are really well done, though Sonic's looking slightly to the left, but I'm fine with that. The paint on his ears are alright. The oval on his chest is good, but I do have an error on my chest, but that's just my figure. 
The shoes are alright, the red does bleed into the grey sometimes, and the white, but it's hard to notice. The articulation is amazing. There's 11 points of articulation. The head can swivel side to side, the arms can move forward and back, and can move out about that far. There's surprisingly a ball joint in the hands. The legs can go forward and back as well as side to side. There's a bend at the knee and the ball joint at the feet. Sadly, the knees are a little loose, so it's really hard for him to stand. But since there's ball joints at the feet, it does help a lot with trying to make him stand. For size comparisons, here he is next to some other video game action figures I own. Fantastic figure. I honestly believe this is a better figure than Jazzwares. It's such a good figure and for $10, it's amazing. I'm really happy Jax is finally making articulated figures, as I know I'll get them all, and I'm so excited for Wave 2. I really hope these do well and I hope to see more articulated figures like Silver, Amy, Infinite, but we have to wait and see. Jack Specific is the newest member of the Master Toy Partners. <laughs> I screwed up my wording there so bad. 